Welcome to Express Info. Do you want to have these exclusive Puma Rice Nitro basketball shoes? Because once we reach 200k subscribers, we will be having this giveaway. Just comment to win. Shoes are promoted by Kaisato himself. Just like this video and most importantly, comment anything positive about Kaisato. It's easy. Commenting is the key to win. Share your positive comments about Kaisato. Do it now na. Win the prize. Stay tuned for more updates. NBA, isa na lang ang hinihintay upang magkakaroon na ng NBA contract si Kai Soto. At ito ang sandaling puputok si Kai Soto sa FIBA World Cup. Mukhang nakukulangan kasi ang mga NBA teams dahil isang laro lang ang nilaro ni Kai Soto sa NBA Summer League at nagtamo pa ng back injury sa second game. Naghihintay na lang ang NBA ng breakout game ni Kai Soto. And there is a big chance na maisa katuparan ito sa FIBA World Cup playing for Gilas. And in the event na maganda ang performance niya sa buong tournament, ay more than enough na ito to merit him an NBA contract. Kilala na kasi si Kai Soto sa NBA at maraming teams are still keeping in track sa kanyang development. And they know for a fact kung gaano kagaling ni Kai Soto at kung gaano kataas ng kanyang potential. Pero siguro, gusto rin nila makasigurado dahil they know the big risk of signing a legit 7-3 sa NBA na kung saan, iilan lang ang nagtagumpay. Kaya, kailangan talaga ni Kai Soto na magiging dominant sa FIBA World Cup if he wants to be signed by the NBA this season. And I think that is doable dahil napapatunayan na ni Kai Soto na isa siyang NBA-level talent. Pero ang problema ay he is perceived as raw talent pa, soft and inconsistent. Kaya, kailangan ni Kai Soto ang katulad ng FIBA World Cup at ang team na katulad ng Gilas na pwede siyang mabibigyan ng significant minutes and major role sa team upang ma-showcase ang kanyang skills and talent in front of all NBA teams, scouts, executives, and coaches. Kaya siguradong matutupad rin ang NBA dream ni Kai Soto na pangarap rin ng bawat basketball Pinoy fan. Samantalang, nagulat si Jordan Clarkson sa shooting skills ng Gilas teammates niya. Lahat kasi may tira sa tres kahit ang ating mga big men ay maasahan sa labas. Kahit wala ang mga usual three-point artist ng Pilipinas katulad ni na Matthew Wright, Marshall Lasseter, and Polly. Pero lahat ng nasa team are all capable three-point shooters. Kahit si na Jun Marfajardo, Kai Soto, and Japheth Aguilar. Pero kung merong mang revelation, ito ay ang shooting ni AJ Edu. At sa isang play, ay ginulat ni AJ Edu si Jordan Clarkson na kung saan napataas pa ng kanyang mga kamay si Jordan Clarkson na trademark na sa kanya ang pagtaas ng mga kamay kapag nakakagawa siya ng magandang play. Nakakabilib naman talaga ang shooting ni AJ Edu. told me that it would be best if I got a coat and tie. Uh. Samantala, si Greg Popovich ay sa wakas kasali na sa Basketball Hall of Fame. Si Pop ay ipapakilala ni na Parker, Robinson, Duncan, and Gino Billy. Sa loob ng maraming taon, tinanggihan ni Greg Popovich ang idea na karapat dapat siyang maisama sa Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. Sa kanyang tingin, may iba pa na mas karapat dapat sa karangalan. Hall of Fame Class of 2023 On Saturday, Manila time, the man whose career has sprouted basketball tentacles that now span the globe was listed among a collection of basketball royalty that underscored his undeniable impact on the game. He can no longer run from the inevitable. 
Si Coach Popovich ay isang five-time NBA champion, Olympic gold medal winning coach, and the league's all-time leader in coaching wins. We'll join fellow NBA champions Dwayne Wade, Pau Gasol, Dirk Nowitzki, and Tony Parker, along with longtime coaching mentee Becky Hammond as headliners of the 2023 Basketball Hall of Fame class. He wanted to make sure his guys went in first. He felt it would be inappropriate to jump the line in his mind. I'm glad he decided this year would be it. Yan ang sabi ng Hall of Fame chairman na si Jerry Colangelo. Parker said being inducted alongside his coach is a pro pro. I just can't get rid of him, joked Parker, who played under Popovich with the San Antonio Spurs. Ang Hall of Fame class ay tumanggap ng kanila mga fame rings at mga jacket noong Biernes and will officially be enshrined on Saturday night in a ceremony in Springfield, Massachusetts. Si Popovich ay ipapakilala ni Parker, kasama ang mga dating bituin ng Spurs at mga membro ng Hall na sina David Robinson, Tim Duncan, and Manu Ginobili. He puts that group's legacy above anything he's achieved in his coaching career. My grandkids go to school with Tim Duncan's children, so it's pretty special in that regard. It's beyond basketball. That's what sustains us when we move through life. Yan ang sabi ni Popovich. Ang iba pang paparangalan ay ang 1976 U.S. Olympic Women's Basketball Team ang dating coach ng Purdue na si Jean Kiddy, isang pitong beses na Big Ten Coach of the Year, dating coach ng Texas A&M Women's na si Gary Blair, na nagdala ng dalawang koponan sa Final Four. Ang matagal ng coach sa Division Three Amherst at dalawang beses na kampion sa National na si David Hickson at si Jean Bess, na nagwagi ng 1,300 na laban bilang isang junior college coach sa Three Rivers Community College sa Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Ang dating coach na si Jim Valvano na naghawak sa North Carolina State at nagdala ng hindi inasahan na kampyonato sa 1983 NCAA ay paparangalan posthumously bilang isang contributor. His selection also accounts for his work as a broadcaster and advocate for cancer research as the creator of the V Foundation. Si Parker ay nagwagi ng kanyang apat na NBA titles habang naglaro siya sa ilalim ni Popovich. Si Gasol ay nagwagi ng dalawang titulo kasama si Kobe Bryant sa Los Angeles. Ngunit, naglaro ng kanyang huling dalawang taon sa liga sa ilalim ni Popovich sa San Antonio. At matapos naging anim na beses na WNBA All-Star si Hammond, siya ay naging unang full-time female assistant coach ng NBA sa ilalim ni Popovich. Mula noon, sinunda na niya ang yapak ng kanyang mentor, coaching sa WNBA's Las Vegas Aces at nagdala ng kampyonato noong nakaraang season. That's it for now guys! Pero bago kami magtatapos, ay huwag kalimutan na huwag magpahuli sa mga pinakabago mga kwento at balita ng kasiyahan at tagumpay. Bahala na ang mga marites dyan, basta kami ay handang maghatid ng tunay na inspirasyon sa mundo ng sports.